Russian officials and occupation authorities continue their attempts to consolidate administrative control of occupied and annexed areas and forcibly integrate Ukrainian civilians into Russian socio cultural, economic, military and governance systems. The Institute for the Study of War says Russian occupation officials and forces continued also to intensify filtration measures in Russian occupied territories of Ukraine. And this is how Russia's filtration process in Ukraine operates. First, individuals are detained and taken to filtration waypoints or stopped at filtration checkpoints where they are evaluated for their perceived threat. Now, those deemed most threatening are probably detained and imprisoned in eastern Ukraine or Russia. Those deemed less threatening but still hostile are probably forcibly deported to Russia. Those deemed non-threatening are probably either issued documentation and permitted to remain in Ukraine or forcibly deported to Russia. Now, many of those deported are children. The Institute for the Study of War says Russian officials continue efforts to deport children from occupied areas of Ukraine to Russia. Russian-installed authorities in the so-called Luhansk People's Republic claim they sent Ukrainian children from here to the region of Krasnodar. According to Ukraine's National Information Bureau, almost 11,500 children have been deported. Now, this is based on calls from parents who are looking for their children. As the Institute for the Study of War previously stated, prominent Russian mill bloggers began circulating a documentary series clearly depicting Ukrainian children being adopted into Russian families. Now, this documentary campaign is likely intended to propagate informational conditions to normalize the forced assimilation of Ukrainian children into Russian families and Russian society.